In this video, we'll be doing a couple of examples finding definite integrals of exponential functions. Our first example is to evaluate the definite integral from 0 to 1 of e to the negative x dx. Now we first need to um, let u be equal to a negative x. Then the derivative of this equation would be du is equal to a negative dx. And we need to sub in for dx, so let me divide both sides by negative 1. We have a negative du is equal to dx. Now in this problem, we have a lower limit x equal to 0 and an upper limit of x equal to 1. So to find our u substitution for that, we um, have u equal negative x. So u is equal to a negative 0, but 0 doesn't have a sign, so u is equal to 0. And then on this one, u is equal to a negative 1. This is going to become the integral 0 to negative 1 of e to the u, and then in place of dx, we'll put negative du. Now let's just work this um, as it is. We can bring this negative um, in front, and then the integral of e to the u, du, is e to the u, and we're going to sub in 0 and negative 1. Our fundamental theorem of calculus says we need to put this number in first. So we have a negative e to the negative 1 power, subtract, and then put this number in, so e to the 0. Now if we distribute this negative through here, we get a negative e to the negative 1 and then plus 1. So this would look better if we put this positive in front. So 1 minus e to the negative 1. Now if it bothers anyone that the lower limit of integration is bigger than the upper limit, we know that we can turn these around and we can do that by just putting a negative out in front. So this could be a negative integral from negative 1 to 0, a negative e to the u du. So these minuses would cancel out, and I would be doing an integral from negative 1 to 0, e to the u du. Let me bring this over here. So this is um, e to the u from negative 1 to 0. Um, if we put our 0 in first, this is e to the 0 minus e to the negative 1 which is what we'll get here, and this is 1 minus e to the negative 1. So either way we do it, let's do another example. On this one, we're asked to evaluate the integral from 0 to 1 of e to the x divided by 1 plus e to the x dx. Now let's let u equal 1 plus e to the x, then du will be, this is 0, so just e to the x dx. And there's my e to the x dx. So these two factors can be replaced with just du. Then um, our lower limit, we have x equals 0 and um, x equal 1. So uh, our new limits of integration will have u equal 1 plus e to the 0. So 1 
plus 1. So u equal 2 will be my lower limit of integration. And then on this one, x is 1, so u is 1 plus e to the 1. So my upper limit of integration will just be 1 plus e. Now let's do our substituting. This will become the integral from 2 to 1 plus e. And then, let's see, I said e to the x dx, I can replace with the du. I'll write that up here. And then 1 plus e to the x is u. Basically, we're doing the integral of 1 over u du, which we know is ln. So this ln of u evaluated from 2 to 1 plus e. And we'll put in 1 plus e first. So ln 1 plus e minus, and then we'll sub in 2. So ln 2. Now we're not quite done. Remember that the difference of logarithms is equal to the log of the quotient. So this uh, can be written as the ln of the quotient 1 plus e divided by 2.